Hi everyone, today we are going to start chapter number 14 time in book 2 and 2b. So let's start page number 248. Here we have the clocks. So as we all know that we have 12 numbers in the clock and each number from 1 to 12 contains 5 minutes. 1 means 5, 2 means 10, then 15, 20, 25, 30, then 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60. It means that this 12 number means we have complete 60 minutes in the clock. So, when the number is completely at 12, it means that it completes a 1 hour. 60 minutes complete 1 hour. 60 minutes is equals to 1 hour. This blue line is minute hand and this red line is for the hour hand. Hour hand is smaller than the minute hand. Minute hand is longer than the hour hand. So we have 60 minutes in the clock. Each number contains 5 minutes. So here we have the question after 30 minutes the minute hand move from 12 to 6 from 12 to 6 here you can see the time shows is 3:30 because it is in between so whenever the hour hand is in between two numbers we always read the previous number so it is 3:30 it is dash minutes after 3 it is dash minutes after 3 after 3 it is 30 minutes it is 30 minutes after 3 page number 250 practice count in fives to tell the time here we have to count in fives like 5 10 15 20 25 30 and then 35 so the time is the our hand is between 3 and 4 so we are going to read the previous number 3 the time is 335 it is 35 minutes after 3. Next is the time shows is it is between 5 and 6. So we read the previous number 5. And 10 means 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So it means it is 550. It is 50 minutes after 5. Here we have read the time, show the missing hours hand. So here we have to draw the hour hand which is smaller than the minute hand. 10, 15. 15 is here. We have to draw the hour hand at 10. 3, 15. We have to draw the hour hand between 3 and 4. Show the time missing minute hand. So here we have to draw the longer hand because minute hand is longer than the hour hand. So here we have 45 minutes. 45 means 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45 means 9. 20. 20 means 5, 10, 15, 20 means 4. Here we have the lesson to worksheet which is AM and PM. So first we have to study that what is AM in time and what is PM in time. So here we have the glossary on the back side of book 2B. What is AM? AM is we use AM to tell the time from the midnight. From the midnight 12 to just before noon 12. So it is the night time of the complete day. And what is PM? PM, we use PM to tell the time from 12 noon to just before 12 midnight because the day, it means the daytime. Like suppose we are having this a complete, this is a day and this is a night. So for the night time from 12 to 12, we use AM and from the morning from 12 to 12, we use PM. Now here we have to write the PM and AM. So Nora reads a book at 1 in afternoon. Afternoon means she is reading the book in the morning in the daytime. It means we write the time as 1 PM. 
Zeni watching television at 6.20 in the evening. Evening means it is also a daytime. So if we write the time as 6.20 p.m. Page number 254. Here again we have to write the a.m. and p.m. with the time. So the time is 9.20. And they were playing in the morning time 9.20 a.m. Here we have 9.15 because it is 9 and it is 15. 9.15 and the time is night so it is p.m. Here they are doing the dinner. So dinner is obviously the night time of it. So 8 8.10 means p.m. Here she is walking. So the time is 8.10, 8.5. It is a a.m. morning time. Here we have Milling wakes up 1 hour after 7 a.m. 1 hour after 7 a.m. means 7 plus 1, 8. So Milling wake up set 8 a.m. Here we have page number 257. Priya start playing the piano at 10 a.m. She plays the piano for 1 hour. Priya stop playing the piano at 11. 10 plus 1, 11. So this is the complete explanation of your chapter time in book 2. Let's start the explanation in book 2b. Chapter number 14 time book 2b worksheet number 1. Page number 119. Write the time. Here we have to write the time. Simple. The time is the middle is between. So we are going to write the previous time 11 and 6 means 30. So it is 30 minutes after 11. Here we have 7, 15. So the time is 15 minutes after 7. Here we have the time is 5 and 8 means 40. It is 40 minutes after 5. Here we have 420, 20 minutes after 4. Here we have 12, 5. So the time is 5 minutes after 12. Now here we have to write the time. We just have to draw the needles. The time is already given. Zinni has lunch at 1, 5 in the afternoon. So 1 and 5. Both the hands will be here because it is in hours it is 1 and in minutes it is 5. Here we have. It's a start to rain at 7, 10, at 9. 10 is already marked and we have to mark 7 8 55 55 is already marked we just have to mark 9 8 55 55 is already marked we just have to mark 8 so we have to draw the R hand here before 9 here we have draw the missing minutes hands to show the correct answer. In the previous page we are drawing the R hands. Here we have to draw the missing hand. So 650. 50 means 10. 445. 45 means 9. 725. 25 means 5. Here we have to using AM and PM. So the time is 10.15. Emma and Tom playing basketball at 10.15. We have the sun here. It means it is the morning time. For the morning time, we use AM. Here we have Bina reads a book at 3.40 p.m. So we are going to use PM. Miming feeds his cat at 7.55 p.m. Anne and her parents go to the circus at 11.20 a.m. Here we have to write AM and PM again with the time. So the time is it is between 11 and 10, 10 and 9 means 45, 10, 45 AM. Here we have the time is between 2 and 3 so it means 2 and 4 means 20, 2, 20 PM. Here we have the time 5, 10 PM. Here we have the time is between 7 and 8. So the time is 7. And the minute hand is at 35. So 7, 35. 
here we have to tell in the time 9 half hour let later after 9 we have we have the time is 9 half an hour 9 30 here we have 5 here we have 6 so the difference is 1 hour 5 pm and 6 pm here we have to draw the needles 12 dash is 1 hour after 12 1 is 1 hour after 12 so because 12 is less than 1 1 hour after 12 is 1 and the difference between is 1 hour here we have dash is 30 minutes after 6 30 is 30 minutes after 6 now here we have 12 half an hour means 2 and half an hour means 2 30 here we have a soccer match start half an hour after 7 7 a.m. draw the hands on the clock to show the time match this is 7 and half an hour after 7 is 7 30 here we have Zinni plays a game at 8 p.m. She goes to bed one hour later. Draw the hands on the clock to show the time. Zinni goes to bed. After 8, she goes to bed after one hour means 9 p.m. Here we have the mind workout. Draw the clock correct way to show the time. Then write the time. So here we have the time is already given. We have to draw the correct time. 7. It is between. It is not correct. We have to draw the time here. Like there we have to draw the our hand exactly at 7. And it is on 5. 1 means 5. 7, 5. On page number 132, we have a maths journal. Write down the activities you do at home. It all depends on your activities. I have written mine. Like I have done 7, 7 p.m. dinner, 7.30 playtime, 8.30 TV time. You can write your own activity and then which activities last for about half an hour and which activities last for about one hour you have to write your own activities in this column review 14 write the time again you have to write the time here we have 450 935 here we have to draw the needles here we have to write the time with am and pm so it is the bedtime it means 9.55 p.m. It is the morning school time it is 7.10 a.m. It is the playing time in the evening or in the afternoon. Then how plays soccer with his friends at 2.25 p.m. So this is the complete explanation of your chapter number 14.